in my case karan well. is more practiced at this speech so you have to uh, <laughs> excuse me yeah, no it's just everything that i thought it would be and yet everything that not like i still look at them and and can't believe their mind uh, and i'm just i'm just blessed every morning literally by their presence you know i tell you this and i feel this every single day i look back at my life and i look at my son and i keep saying to myself this is the best thing i've ever done yeah i really feel that and that's i think what parenthood uh does to parents you know becoming well, I, a parent i i always say that they're the finest dharma productions yeah. <laughs> literally yes indeed and otherwise and i think um, having one and in uh extending your family only makes you more whole yes, so i does. think kids are the greatest gift so what kind of uh, relationship uh, have you had with food um uh, when you were younger and and uh, what do you expect or how do you want to carry that forward for your children or what do you what kind of relationship do you want them to have with food um well when i was young food was my sibling uh because for the lack of one or the lack of any other options available to me i decided to befriend food uh and all i did was consume that friendship in excess uh and as a result i grew into a very large human being and uh and all i did was think and eat and breathe food uh and it became like so difficult that there was actually there was no therapy at that time uh but i know that i was definitely a candidate for therapy to get over my food incessant food eating habits so when did you become objective and when you cut those those ties with that sibling Uh, and when did you have a healthier relationship well, when I you start having a healthier my relationship? relationship has been through so many ups and downs with food like there's a daily that there's always stress in that zone it's never really left me which is why i think books like this and people like pooja and and forces like nutrition are so critical that at a young stage you don't get and you know their kids they should have fun as well they should enjoy what's great about food uh but i think there are so many indulgences that we tend to kind of get into that i think that can be completely avoided you know you know what you don't expose them to they're not going to like love in my case we were i was half punjabi and half sindhi so food was a very big part of our daily life and if it wasn't on the table it was on a discussion zone so we either talked about it or we ate it you know that's what we did and i think food should not be given that kind of importance that we tend to in our country you know everything is like we at lunch we discuss what we're going to have for tea at tea we're going to discuss what we're having for dinner and then you sleep with thoughts of breakfast so uh, it's really kind of like goes into a loop of sorts and i don't want my children to kind of go through those issues that i did how are you going to play this differently how are you going to make sure that the lunch you know going to be talking about tea or dinner because now there is so much else to talk about oh, there is okay. so much else to say uh, also because with me you get two for the price of one so i'm playing mother and father in this dynamic so i have a double role to play of sorts so for me it's even more daunting and even more like and i realize that i am not I've no I haven't realized I've told myself that I'm not going to be a hysterical hyper parent because I see so many of them around me and especially leading actresses who become mothers uh, I think something happens to them you know they become like from leading actress to paranoid parent and I I feel like I don't want to be that when I see young mothers like Meera it's refreshing and I'm glad I have them like they make me feel younger because I feel like I have a 23 year old uh, to call for parental <laughs> advice yeah, and I feel that's like amazing and Meera and i've chatted a lot and i'm glad that she's going to be and i told her already we planned the best friendships of our children yeah, uh, yeah. like <laughs> my daughter and her daughter are going to be best friends we'll keep the options open with the son uh, and <laughs> and uh, uh, because you never know why should we give those ties to boys and girls uh, uh, but i just feel i'm so happy that eventually in a play group and in a whatsapp group i'm going to be the oldest and yet youngest member Ooh. i'm really excited it's not bad thing i can't wait to get onto those mothers group chats Shut i can't up. wait karan is open dharma elementary now yeah i totally i'm and i already i'm i'm all set with a little play room in my office because that's how i'm going to be able to spend quality time with them as well who takes the nutrition decisions um as far as your kids are concerned ha they haven't been very many who decisions. is telling them about the five fingers uh, karan <laughs> i will have to be me and my mom i think we're pretty much the universe karan for my children karan knows all the formulas and everything at the back of his hand he knows what room he's taking i mean i did a lot of reading i think before it all happened but eventually i mean you know these all these 
these daunting pieces of information I'm putting into the Even inner recesses of my yes. head. So I'm going to definitely be reading uh, because I mean initially Pooja was just making you delete what you eat uh, but now we have to like eat, delete, junior. I think that's what needs to happen from now onwards. I'm going to blindfold you. You can't say that you've never been blindfolded. Okay, I never, I don't know if I signed up for this but what the hell. <laughs> Are getting blindfolded as well. Oh, how's it the second round, right? This seems like Fifty Shades of Grey to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was a children's book. What's happening here? Karan, it's uh, only me. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but still, <laughs> I can fantasize, Mandira. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is something going into my mouth now? Yes. In okay. a minute. I know this. Come on. It's a fruit. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> um, it's a fruit. Why don't I know this? <laughs> I'm going blank. I know it's a fruit. Uh, you want to tell me uh, it's Maple? apple? Ha, huh, okay. Banana. <laughs> well, <you're not> <laughs> okay, fine. That was right. But you're not supposed to help. <laughs> you can't say A for I apple. thought it was, it was you mixed the two together. All right. You get one uh, right. Somebody's keeping score, I hope. Apple and banana. It's apple, yeah. banana, mash. Okay. No one told you I'm allergic to banana, right? I break into hives. Oh, that's that's fine. That's a lie. Yummy. Ugh. No. <laughs> what is this? This I don't know because I don't like. Okay, he doesn't like it. He doesn't know, so. What is this? What is it? It was mashed sweet potato. Uh, it's very no good for you. No, no. Moving on to number three. Ah. Now you gotta like this. Ah. This is yogurt, is it? No. What is it? Okay. Oh, this is little santra I had. No, sorry. No. You got this wrong as well. What is it? That was avocado. This is avocado? Yes. <laughs> and here we are with the last Can one. I judge the cooking? Okay, and now... This is uh, the last one. Number four. It's like porridge or something. What is it? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You got that right. Uh, is it right? So you got uh. two wrong, two right. Uh, you can take the, the, the blind. Meera, just off. get two wrong. Yeah, I don't like to lose. You can take the blind. Can I? Yes. We've got a little bit of master chef going on. Master chef junior yes. slash senior. You're oh, yeah, both going to have to reconstruct a dish featured in Eat Dilly Junior by just looking at the picture. The ingredients are in front of you. You're going to be given five minutes. Please listen to the rules, lady huh? and gentlemen. Yes. You're going to be given five minutes huh? to reconstruct a dish from the book. You're going to have to take a look at just what? based on the picture. Oh, where's the picture? Here. Yeah. Mins? Oh, God. Okay. Are we meant to start? Yes. Okay. You're both making separate dishes, is it? Yes. Okay. Whoever gets it closer to the picture um, is the one who wins the round. <laughs> is somebody timing this? Yes. Okay. You have exactly... Okay, I've been told you have three minutes to do this. Just three. Three. Chop, chop. Pooja, while they're doing what they're doing, I'm going to ask you a few questions about the book. How long did it take to... How long did it take from start to finish? Let, the, let, them, let them do it. Hmm. How long did the book take from start to finish from when you decided on it to today? 
a good three years. Oh, my daughter, my daughter's prompting me. Yes, because it wasn't easy. Uh, I, was a, I was gathering, I was developing the book as they were developing, and there was a lot of data that I first wanted um, so that it's genuine and it's researched and it's not just hearsay. Because there's, like he said, like Karan said, there's so much advice. Everyone's giving you advice and we need to filter the good and the bad. And we don't need to get paranoid and helicopter moms. So we know, we have to know where to draw the line and how, when to stop. So there are, there are many things that you have to try, but there are many battles that sometimes it's okay if you lose. Just keeping the bigger picture in mind because there's not every battle that you're going to win. I can't eat this, I can't do that. There's not everything that you can force your child to. So there's a way that we're going to be doing a little bit of and then and a little bit of leniency as well. Which, is, um, which, which are your favorite recipes, the ones which are tried, tested and approved of by your daughters? Uh, so there is an egg wrap. Egg is my favorite and that's why Karan's to making two beautiful dolls with boiled eggs. And, uh, oh, well done, Karani. <laughs> we have lots of, uh, the eyelashes are really long. So there's an egg rack recipe, which is very easy to put in the kid's stiffen box. It can, it tastes good cold. So there are many such recipes, which are all fingers, five fingers of nutrition taken care of so that you can still pack uh, nutrition into your kid's stiffen. I've done as well as I can. My eyes are a bit scattered. <laughs> Jason, she's got the infinitely tougher okay, job. Okay, now, I think how do I we do this? We need a camera that will that'll zoom in on both of these so we can see them on the screen and all of you can decide who's done better. Do we have a camera that can come forward? Very good. Okay. Crown is Three minutes are up. Thank you. I get reminded three minutes are up. Now, how Listen, do we, how do we I think she needs to win. It was amazing what she has done. That is absolutely amazing. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Karan, that's pretty good. Yes, just, thank you. We have just very, very long eyelashes. We have that's long lovely. eyelashes. So, I, I don't know. Should we call it? Yes. The winner is... I think the winner is... Okay, the winner Mira. is Mira. Mira. You can come and take a look at their I handiwork in a little can bit. I eat one piece of this? So when it comes to the best of three, uh, Karan, I'm afraid. I've you've lost, lost already. both rounds. No, well, you know, uh, we're going to move on. We're going to move on Hi, to the, the, the unveiling right now. Both of you did a wonderful job. Both of you have been very sporting. Thank you very much. Okay. Big round. Yes, and since Mira has won both rounds, we're not doing round three. Can we have Mira's grand prize very quickly? Yes?